on the Grade 5 Work Pack, page 14 we're on now. So let's have a look at question 8. We're expanding those brackets, so make sure you multiply everything by the number 3. Question B, we're multiplying everything by 3x, so we've got 6x squared plus 15x. Remember, you are multiplying. Double brackets here, so it's FOIL. Remember to multiply. It's the same pattern every single time. The more practice you do, the easier it gets. Second mark is to find those middle terms. So 10 at 3m is 13m. Right, question number nine, we are factorising. So that means we're putting into brackets. Which times table? Only the one times table. Any common letters? X. So X times X is X squared and X times 7 is 7X. Next one, factorise. It's a quadratic. It's three terms. So it's not the difference of um, two squares. So we're going to need to think of a number that multiplies to give us 16 and adds to give us negative 10. So let's go through our, all of our factors. Well, that number there will give us 10 if we add them so negative 10 will be negative 8 and negative 2 rewrite it splitting the middle term remember you don't have to but this is good practice for those harder quadratics factorize the first two factorize the second two so they're both members of the eight the two times table and actually when you do this it sorts out the signs as well because you know those two brackets are going to be identical. And the last bit is y take away 2. Right, here, factorise. So I want two numbers that multiply to give me 4. Remember, multiply the first and the last. And add to give me 5. Those two numbers multiply to give me 4. And they add to give me 5. Rewrite it. Splitting the middle term. So the 4 and the 1 now appear on this section. Factorise the first part, so I've got 2 times table and the letter t. 2t times t gives me 2t squared and 2 times 2 gives me 4. Factorise which times table? 1 times table. I know I'm correct because I've got a repeated second bracket and the finish the answer off by using the two parts that are outside the bracket. Then it says t is a positive number. The expression, that's the same expression as the first part, can never have a value that is a prime number. Explain why. Well, first of all, prime numbers only have two factors. One and itself. So if one of the is the number one is one of these answers, then either t plus one, the first bracket, must be equal to one, in which case t must be equal to negative one, not true, because t is positive and that is a negative number. So t is positive. Okay, or the second one must be equal to 1 because it has to have um, a factor of 1 and itself. So let's see if that equals 1. That means that 2t equals 0 and t equals 0, but it has to be a positive whole number. And 0 is not positive, it is not negative. So it's not true as t is positive. Therefore, And now prime as it can never as a factor. Now that is quite a tricky question, so if you manage to do that or understand that, fantastic. Thank you.